Broadway productions are reportedly scrambling after the closure of Signature Bank. As many as half of all Broadway shows use the mid-sized New York-based lender. ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophorus has more on that. Alexis, what does this mean for Broadway? This could have been catastrophic for the Broadway industry, Diana. As you mentioned, about half of all Broadway shows are invested in, in Signature Bank. And some were saying that they could have actually been forced to shut down shows as early as this weekend because they would need to tap that money for things like payroll, launching new shows, or just keeping existing shows going. So some of the Broadway show execs are saying they are able to access their money now, thankfully, that the government has uh, come to the rescue and said that they will make these depositors whole. Some of them are saying there's a little bit of a delay in accessing that money, but they say they will be able to get it. And when they are getting it, they're actually taking it out of Signature Bank and bringing it over to City National Bank. It's another New York-based bank that they say is very friendly uh, to the Broadway community. Now, Silicon Valley Bank's uh, parent company is now uh, filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. So what does that mean for that bank? Right. So some creditors had actually been pushing the bank to do this. The, the bank's parent company, that is, so that it could sell off some of their valuable non-bank assets so that they can recoup some of their losses. So Silicon Valley Bank, which is now under the control of the FDIC, is not part of this Chapter 11 filing. The bankruptcy helps the bank's parent company find new owners for its other business lines that are not under federal control, which includes things like their investment bank and their wealth management firm. And we keep talking about tech investors banking at SVB, but millions of Americans' pension funds are on the line here too. So what's happening on that front? And they've sort of gotten lost in all of this. It's not just tech investors. Pensions in seven states, including here in New York, California, Ohio, have at least $180 million in exposure. So this impacts America's teachers, state troopers, at a time when their pension funds are still trying to recover from last year's market hit. So some retirement accounts, like pension funds, are actually not covered by FDIC insurance. So these funds do stand to lose money now that these banks have closed. But the direct impact, I guess, Diane, so far is that it appears limited because those holdings represent just a small part of the $5 trillion that is in the U.S. Public Pension Asset Fund. All right, Alexis Christophers, thank you. Sure. And if you want to ask Alexis any personal finance questions, you can leave a message on our Instagram feed. She just might answer your question right here next Thursday. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.